Really? Really, you're stuck? Ugh. Right. Oh, come on, Ark. Okay, we've all straight into it this episode. We've come up to put down another congealed gas pump. And whilst we're here, we found a nice one turn Anclio. So we're going to knock that out to keep up here to collect metal. And this is going to be the. Um, well, this is going to be the area we use to collect all our metal and such. It's that simple, really. So I'm just going to grab a few berries for this one. And then we're going to leave him to tame in the trap that we haven't used for anything else, obviously. Whilst we go and put down this um, gas vein and um, gather up the gas that we've already got. Okay, people, we're going to try it. We haven't got one yet on any other map. So let's go for... A Giganto, shall we? Gigantopithecus. Whatever you want to call it. Now, hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. I guess we shall soon find out. <coughs> it at least gives us some time to collect some gas up whilst we're waiting. And also something to do whilst we're waiting for that anchor to take. So, I think I'll bring you back once this actually goes one way or the other. Yay, we got one. Finally. So, okay, it wasn't the 260 that we were after, but the 260 would not go up to let us feed it again. It just kept on saying no. Um, for like over 10 minutes straight, it was just saying no. So let's get on our buddy here and see what he can do. Nothing yet. Good, good. Now, we've also got our Ancleo back in the meantime. So what we're going to do is grab a bit more hide out of this. Like so. Do, do, do. Monkey's going to stop there, apparently. So they can hopefully both get a buff off of the um, Listro. Oh, yeah. That's why I put the hide in first, doesn't it? Hide in. And somewhere. There we go. Ancleo saddle. So now we can use this to get our metal down here. At some point, we'll convert ourselves up. Or, well, as they convert ourselves up, we'll upgrade and get ourselves a, um industrial forge up here. And that's pretty much all our metal sorted. Saddle. There's the weight. How about you, weight? How far? Oh, wow, you're really low on weight. Okay, anyway. How much this one's on at weight at the moment isn't really important because it's only staying here. What we will do is see if we can just take the um, Anki out quickly just to get a little bit of um, metal. If Matey Boy here will move out of our way, that is. Come on. Come on. There we go. You stop there. Right. Anyway, I'm going to do this quick grind, and I will join you all back at the other base. Okay, people. We're at the, um, uh, the top of the fertile zone, just looking down into the rad zone and such. There's me and Crazy Bear here. We're going to jump down with our tames and see if we can get some Drake eggs. So, we probably won't record it all, but we'll join you in for the interesting bits. First off, leap of faith. Oh, I'm, I'm not so sure about this now, I've jumped crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's all right. It looked really pink in the middle, I thought it was um, element. It's just Ooh. glowing light. I think I may just miss the element pool. Yep, I've landed the other side. I'm gonna stay on my back. Okay then, people. And this is where it all starts to go wrong. Uh, as it is, I went down to the rad zone with Crazy, as you start to see the beginning of there. 
after I took that first clip, I cut it so that we could actually record it a bit further on. And um, I'd run out of space. We were in the middle of the rad zone at the time, so I didn't have time to go through my computer. So it didn't record. Long story short, got down there. My drake got jammed by my drake. My crab got jammed by a load of drakes off the ground. And so, as you can see here, it died. The bits about a spino smashing something, I think, was where Becky's old base was taken apart. As I haven't seen any of my bases broken. So, <clears throat> there we go. I've now got this new crab. Um, thankfully, at the time, I had just tamed a crab for Becky, which you'll see at some point is a green one. So I had to take that back down and find my body and everything. Um, where Crazy was still down there, he was able to keep an eye on it for me. So, I did still get an egg. It was a 110. There was a bit of confusion from me later. I did a couple of trips. I got 110 on the first trip, and then I got a 50 and a high level one on the next trip. And then I've done one more trip because the second trip, annoyingly, didn't record. Um, I had a mess up. If you do it on the PlayStation and you double tap it, it stops recording. Double tap again, it starts recording. For some reason, after I did the little intro bit, it didn't record. So... We've got a few little clips in here, like the bit of crazy, and a couple of clips in a second that don't really match up. And as it is, they're not the best quality clips because they were the bits that I was going to use, or sorry, wasn't going to use, and they were actually the outtakes. So, yeah, live and learn. But basically, we've got this crab again. Um, we managed to find a dossier for it and give it a good boost. So it pretty much came up to the same level as the one that we had, which was about 20,000 health, and it actually got up to 4k damage. The other one was just under that. And yeah, I do apologise for the chaotic way that this um, episode's gone. It's literally that case of the first attempt of crazy, and that was it. You didn't see what happened. Next attempt, I'm at the top, and then you get a little clip of me after I've been down to the rad zone. So, as I said, I did it a third time. I didn't go for a high egg, because it didn't make a difference what the egg was. It was the whole principle of finding an egg. So, um, <clears throat> that's what we did. We found the egg and um, brought it back up just to show you the whole thing of course we have clipped out a lot because it does take about an hour's trip to go down there and come back but yeah uh, basically that's what's gone on in this one I will try to make more effort to make sure that from now on we don't get such situations as it is after that I deleted off so many games that I ended up collecting back about just over 100 gigabytes worth of um, space so hopefully from now on we should be able to get it all recorded and it is something that I'll check before we go into anything big. In truth, I'm kind of relieved it's happened now though as these are the sort of things I'm trying to work out before we get to Extinction. So once we start that series, it's going to be a lot smoother and something that's a lot more enjoyable for you all to watch. So bear with me and I hope you still get some enjoyment out of this episode. Right, chat later then people. Bye bye. Okay, we're back in. First off, I do apologise. Um, as they say, winter is coming. And my nose is starting to get a little bit bunged up at the moment in preparation. So, all fun there. But, as you can tell from where we are, we're just above the rad zone. We have our new crab with us. And we have some rad gear. So, we're going to go for a run down there and see how long it takes us to get there. And I will join you in for the juicy bits of it. Okay then, people. It's been just over half an hour. Um, to be honest, I didn't press the record button, so I'm now a little bit worried how much I've shown. We've got back up this far. We're literally about a minute or two's walk up from the waterfalls that we dropped in at. And just in case we didn't show you, I really, really hope we did, because otherwise I'm going to be very gutted. We have a 380 Drake egg. So, all we've got to do now is get back out of here. Our armour, in fact, actually, is just below half. So we will give it 10 minutes or so, and then we will swap over the armour. Okay, people, we're back down in the rad zone for the simple fact of it didn't record last time we did this. So, the only problem is 
I was kind of being greedy and going for a drop. And um, I missed jump for the drop. We came all the way down. We landed just in the edge of the element, you know, nothing too important. However, that just in the edge of the element wasn't enough of a dip to kill our shine horn. So we now have no glow pet. Okay, people. So we're at the point where we jumped down in the rad zone already. Uh, that waterfall there is the end of the path that we walked down when you saw where Crazy and I were heading. So now all I do is drop this last little bit. This is exactly what I did yesterday. Only difference is I chose a different route to get down here, which actually turns out was a pain in the backside because it's used most of my um, endurance on my first hazmat suit. So the other problem is we have no shine horn anymore because I might have jumped down and clipped the edge of the element lakes, which they don't appreciate that. Now, down here to the eggs. Here's all the nests. Look, lovely, lovely nests everywhere. I not believe someone there. I sort of nameless for a second trying to climb in with us. Now, the problem is at the moment, I can't see any of the nests. Apart from over there, of course. So, I'm going to jump along a little bit more. Now, as this is my third time down here, fourth if you include the flat that when me and Crazy went, I died. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I died and had to come back down with another crab. Trapers. Drakes. Right, there's nests over here. We're just going to jump for it because at the moment I don't even care what level egg we got. We just want an egg to show you that we can get them. Right, nests, 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 nests. What we're going to do, good old crabby here is literally keep traversing. They have to be really, really close to these nests to actually see anything spawn is the annoying thing. Are we come in here? No, no, no. Nothing in the nest. However, for those of you who actually come down and lose your light pet, the nests are quite a good place to hide out from the nameless for a little bit. Just to regain your stamina. Now, let's jump over and see what we can see. Come on. There's loads of nests here. There's got to be some eggs somewhere. Come on, eggs. There's one of these three over here that I got the 380 from yesterday for those of you who are interested. All right, now see we've made it down. We've got lots of nameless ones already. This is one problem, of course we wouldn't have with the glow pet. So we're going to jump up here. Now, I'm sure most of you know this, but one easy way to check your eggs. Oh, <laughs> look at that, level 50. I actually got level 50 from around here yesterday too, so maybe this is the same nest. But no, we have our rock drake egg. We have our armors, still just above half most of it, apart from the chest piece. I don't know why the chest piece went down so fast. I don't think I did any gliding on it or anything, so... All we're going to do is feed up the crab for a second, and I shall bring you back once we're on the run back up. Okay, people. We're up to 20,000 health again. We've still got another two grand we can put in. But I'm not going to. We're just literally going to... Oh, come on. Grab the egg. And jump out. We want to land in the middle, because that's the safest place with all the rock drakes around. We don't want anywhere where they're going to catch us and lift us off the ground. Now the main thing is there's a limited amount of these that will come because it's whatever's in the area. Sooner or later they'll run out. How much later? I don't know. Because wow, there's always quite a few of these buggers. Oh, 
Might as well get the name as well. Doesn't really help. Now all we gotta do is head back towards the pinkness. And that barrier up there. Of course if you're going on foot to be clear, you bring something down like spiders or whatever. Once you come in, down into this side, if you come this way, there doesn't seem to be a way to get them back out again. So, just to warn you there, people. But this is why we bring a crab. Because we can just start to jump and ascend. That didn't work at all. That was the most terrible jump ascent in the world. Oh, come on! Seriously! Go away, nameless. All of you. Unless you're going to give me nameless venom. Which some of you by now must have done, even though I'm black boxing. There, we're up the first bit. We're up the next bit. Now I know this is only a level 50 egg we've got, but the point is I'm only down here. Just to show you the proof of concept of how to do it. Oh, that wasn't it. Just for the record, if anyone was wondering. Right. We can get ourselves back up to where we were just one second ago. And we will take it from there. Okay, so we're back to the same spot. We're heading towards these pink waterfalls up here. Because that's the crossing area. Now, this excursion let's say is going to be a lot more difficult than normal because normally we wouldn't get all these stinking nameless spawning all the time but past that it's all basically the same thing let's just check our armor quickly oh legs are getting a bit no oh, this is why I hate the nameless though they just keep spawning and spawning in stupid places. Oh, I actually put one up there. Whoops. And here we are, back to the first set of crystal waterfalls. All we've got to do is zigzag up this bit, however, thankfully, with the crab, we can miss a couple of the zigs and zags. Hopefully. Really? Really? You're stuck? Oh. Right. Oh, come on, Ark. Out with up to the next level. So we've got around the waterfalls. We're still just heading back up and back up. Somewhere just past those yellow crystals is actually where we get to the non rad zone for a bit. So once we're there, then we're going to take a breath, check our armor, probably replace some as it's getting a bit low now. But we're basically out. All we've got now is the long, long grind to get back up. Obviously, once you've got your drake, as we do, that's not too much of a problem. And technically, even from straight away, you can take a drake down and grab an egg if you're used to flying them well enough. Because you can go in camouflaged, and you can grab the egg and literally launch yourself up. And the best way to do it is launch yourself straight back to that spine and just keep jumping up a rib at a time until you get to the top. I mean, other people might tell you other ways. And to be fair, other people might be right. But that, for me, is just the easiest way to go. The spine's nice and clear and obvious. It's hanging from the ground. There's only one way up on it. There's no second routes or anything like that. So why not? And we will actually be coming down on a drake at some point because we need to get another decent egg for um, Becky and the tribe. 
and at that point we shall probably show you it. See now there's the waterfall for the area that we're going to. And as I said, if we keep going up here, look. Just by bits and bits and bits. Then eventually. Although this is in the rad zone, and the rest of the route out after the waterfalls is in the rad zone. The waterfalls themselves actually aren't. So here we are, and the best point to show off where we're going. If you remember us jumping, then you'll have noticed a land bridge, which I believe is this one here. All we do is we land, normally just about that point where my right claw is. Oh, I didn't realise my crab had a level up. How good is that, eh? You give it 23 health. Yay. So you land, you come down, you follow that path all the way down. As you can see at the moment, I'm not in the rad zone. This whole area back here, under there, is not in the rad zone. But it follows all the way down. There's another waterfall at the end there, which you do a U-turn round. And that's where that blue light was that I dropped down to get to the um, drakes. So now, all I've got to do is just get myself back the last bit of the way this way. To do that, that though, one good thing would be to change over the armor in fact you know what we're going to do we are going to change everything for new including that top that we changed already just because i just want to get out of it now it's that simple there there pop that on there pop that on there just in case and so we followed the spine up and we've reached this little metallic platform. Like so. Over there on the right. You can just see. I'll put the scope out. There is in fact a dossier as well. Although they seem to have changed. They seem to have changed the way that dossiers work. It used to be if you went onto a server. You could claim it on the server. Obviously it wouldn't pop up and show you what it all said and everything. Because you already knew that. But it would give you the XP button when it opened. Now, I've opened a few on this server that I already had, and so I went back to them for that reason. And, um, they didn't actually give me the XP buff still. So, whether they've changed that at some point, I hadn't realised, I don't know, but that is kind of a shame, because it was a nice, easy way to level up dinos on um, maps that you're playing on servers. Literally, still just keep doing this and following it on the map. We're heading east, which is obviously quite far from where we want to be going. But as I know from the last few times I came down here to refresh my memory, that is the way we're wanting to do it. Now I don't want to say anything to cause to jinx myself at the moment. And so I kind of want to say nothing. However, I'm not sure if. What is attacking me still? Nameless. Troll. I'm not sure if saying nothing is the right thing to do. Is, I would like to put out to you all that whilst these little peasants have been spawning no uh, large relatives have been oh that do 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 bit that means we're nearly at the end of the rad zone I don't know why it's there I think it's the same thing as like the spore bit you get in the um, blue biome where it makes you cold and such but obviously you wouldn't be using it there because it's a rad zone so well you wouldn't be using it you wouldn't be suffering from it there because this is a rad zone and so you'll have your rad suit on anyway 
Now, unless it's just something to truly mess up those poor people who try it on Primitive Plus with leeches and such, for the record. I think the leeches only last about five minutes, so good luck on that. Um, but I don't know. It's just a bit harsh, I won't lie. No, no, see, there's a feather light there. And we're actually out of the rad zone now, to be clear, people. Over here, in fact. We do have a good outpost spot for a base. I could have just gone to the left there, to be clear, but I thought there was a um, flower over here. And I was going to try and grab that dear little feather light, but no. Anyway, so we're back now on the map. We are here. More importantly, because we're back now. Yes, I know you're biting me. But if I can survive a pack of rock drakes, I can survive you for a second whilst I put my arm back on. Whatever you are, I'm guessing nameless. Yes, of course you are. Right, yes. So as I was saying, we're back now. We're about this point. Which means that we are just next to the fertile... Not the fertile, sorry, the blue biome. Here's the start of it. This is the area I like to call the Crystal Lakes. And as it is, we are just about to pass the entrance on the way back to the um, cave. Oh, see, things are still eating me. Back up here. Well, it's the lakes. We're just going to follow along this shore. So keep the water to your left and the land on your right. You can, of course, spread out a bit from the shore if you want to, but it's not really too important because we're going to get to the end of here and we're going to get to some waterfalls, and that is the spot for me that I can always landmark into my head. I mean, this is realistically the most draining part before you've got a drake, is just this climb back up and up and up and up and up. Not only through the rad zone, but then once you're through the rad zone, you've got to find your way out of the blue biome, unless you're actually based in the blue biome. And as we're not, then that's not to help. And we're going to jump here. We have a flower, which will heal my crab. So, we will come back to you once that's done. Maybe we'll have a glow pet. But before we do, let me just point out to you quickly where this beautiful glow is coming from because there's a drop over there. They're just there. Somewhere. Oh, go away, name nerd. Trying to narrate here. Yes. So here is where we drop off. Just over there. This bit right here. That is where the cave is. Now all we're going to do is jump down to this piece. Voila. And just where those stones are in front of us is a little island. We're going to head for that. Now, I won't lie, this is where my memory gets a little bit more hazy. We get to this island. Now I know I can go up the route over there. But I'm still quite sure there is a quicker way as well. But for now, we're going to go the way I know for sure, which is the routes up and over there. Because where that crystal is up there, I believe, somewhere, is in fact where we've got a little outpost in the blue biome. 
So first off, we're going to heal up the crab here. And then we're going to get back to it and get home. Just stopping on the way back to give you a quick tip on the nameless harvester for Venom. All we're doing is we've grabbed the alpha one with our claw here. And as long as the alpha's out, more will come. Now, of course, they don't all drop venom. And one of the things to remember is you want a clear inventory of doing this. It's kind of best literally to take your grab up completely empty to do it. But, no. Is there anything else attacking me? Or is it just because he's biting me? It's just because he's biting me. So, anyway, we've done all that. Good him too. And let's just have a quick look. Oh, that name is better. Oh. Alright, we get some good bits off of them nameless now and then. Interesting. Right. So we're gonna head over here anyway, through this magically glowing tree. Over to the ledge which we just completely missed. And truth I didn't realise the ledge was there, so shh. Oh, what are we caught on? Nameless, nameless can go away. We've got enough of you now. But we're in black box. So we come up here. Onto this route. And that will lead us all the way back to the base. Now, as I said, I know there's easier routes. I know there's a way that you can walk up literally onto the path that's just below our base or our outpost or whatever you want to call it but at the moment it's just a case of getting back because I've recorded this far too many times you ever seen the like blue floating petals or whatever it is before it's quite smart hmm right <sighs> join you back when we get there people And look familiar. This is in fact the place where we tamed our Megalosaurus. It passed out just about over where that Megalosaurus is at the moment. We're back. I don't even know which bits are going to be from which runs this time, people, because we've done. That's the third run. And we've been down there four times technically because we had to run down when it crashed out on camera when I was with Crazy to go and rescue myself. But, four runs, four eggs, yay. Three runs, we picked up two on the last one. We actually have a 380, two 50s, and a 110. Is it 110? I believe I thought it was a 100. So, perfect. At that point, we're gonna leave it there for the episode because this is gonna take much cutting down and spinning around and everything to try and explain the fact why there's free starts of videos. Oh, hello you. We're going to close the door and leave them. Why there's free starts of videos of uh, runs down there and yet why there is only one actual bit of video of being down there. So, I do apologise about that people. It was a humongous mess about. We will sort it out and we will actually go down on a proper run but I think now we've gone down with the drakes. You know, even if it was a bit mashed together, you've seen that it can be done with a crab. It's not a case of we're just cheating and spawning it in. I don't know why I'm spinning the camera around. Is anyone else feeling a little bit dizzy? Dizzy, 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 dizzy. Sorry, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do next time is build probably just down there where that black crack is, just at the top of the um, screen there, that whole platform we're going to build down there with an incubation area we're going to put all of those in and then of course we're going to take the crab out to get the venom and we will have ourselves some rock drakes so people i'll see you then all the best bye bye <laughs>